Hey everybody, Matt Kleskowski here, and I thought I'd take a quick moment to update my video on installing presets and organizing presets in Lightroom. Uh, I provide a lot of free presets over on LightroomKillerTips.com, so I refer to this video quite often, so I figured I'd take a, uh, take a few minutes and do a quick update for it, okay? First thing, installing presets. Well, when you get presets, chances are they're gonna be in a zip file. Lightroom has no idea what a zip file is. So you have to unzip the file, just double click, and then you'll see a folder with all the presets. So I created one called Twilight, all right? And these presets are, uh, they're, they're kind of modeled after the Twilight movie posters, a very similar effect. So I just went through Lightroom and kind of created the settings to give a similar feeling to those movie posters. So let's go ahead and install these. The first way to do it, I'll give you two quick ways. I'll use the, the way that I do the most is I just come over here into Lightroom in the develop module. I'll talk about the other modules in a second. But in the develop module, I'll come over and I'll right click on user presets. Okay, don't do it on the Lightroom presets folder. It's not going to work. You got to right click on the user presets folder and choose import. And then go into the folder with the presets, select the presets you want hit import and you'll see they pop up right over here inside your menu. Okay. And I'll hit reset. You can see what the effect looks like here. So I'll do the strong effect. So that's the twilight effect. That's the preset. Got a whole bunch of presets. Again, if you go over to Lightroom killer tips, uh, there's a ton of them on there for free. So you can check those out. Now that's really the way that I install my presets most of the time once in a while. And it, it, it's just, you know, whatever one kind of suits you more, another way to do it, would just be double click on the preset file itself. All right. Now, the first time you do it, the first time you double click on an LR template file, it's probably going to come up and say, your computer's going to say, I don't know how to open this. I don't know what application to associate it with. So you would just point at the Lightroom application. So if that window pops up, it'll usually give you an option that says choose application, point it at Lightroom. And then what happens from, from then on out, when you double click a preset file, it asks you if you want to install it, would you like to install the preset called Twilight? Yes, install. And you'll see it shows up right over here in the menu. So if that doesn't work for you, if you don't like that method, then of course there's nothing wrong with doing it the way that I usually do it. Again, just come over here, right click on the user presets folder and choose import. Now, if you're working in slideshow, print, or web, the only thing that changes is that it's going to be called user templates instead of user presets. But you come over here, you right click on the user templates folder and choose import. Just make sure you unzip the presets. The, the, main, the main stumbling block that I see is people saying it, it's not the right kind of a preset. Okay, And that's because either A, they've gone in here and they've tried to import the zip file, or B, you go to the develop module and try to import a print preset. And that's key here. You've got to be in the module for that preset. So if I, if I provide a print preset, like a print template, you got to make sure you're in the print module. If it's a develop preset, which most of them are, then make sure you're in the, the, the develop module. Okay. Now, very, very quick tip on organizing. There's not too much we can do when it comes to organization for presets. Uh, a couple of things we can do is they are organized alphabetically. Okay, so however you name them, they're going to appear top in the list. If you put a one in front of a preset that maybe doesn't begin with an A, then it's going to appear first in the list. If you put a two, it'll appear second, obviously, as you go down the line. So if you have something that doesn't necessarily begin with an A, but you want to make sure it's at the top of the list, put a one in front of it. The other thing is when you're creating presets, you click this little plus icon, you're going to see you can give it a name, you can put it into a folder that exists or check new folder. All right. A lot of people create a black and white folder, a special effects folder or a vignettes folder, something like that, but create a folder so you can organize all your black and white presets into the black and white folder. So just another little organization tip for you to help keep what really happens to me, which is I put most of them all into one folder and I get this huge preset list. So if that's a problem for you, you can start organizing them into smaller folders to help help keep things more tidy. Okay. Well, folks, that's all I got on installing and organizing presets in Lightroom. Again, you can find all of my presets over at lightroomkillertips.com. Just uh, go on the right-hand side, click on the little presets category, and uh, they're all free, so feel free to download. Thanks again for watching. My name is Matt Kleskowski, and I will talk to you again soon.